Hello, Cancer, with a reading for the sign of Cancer. My beautiful friends, welcome to this table. It is wonderful to have you here, and I am excited to be here as well. I'm going to go ahead and get started in this reading. Um, this is going to be a freestyle reading, um, so please be patient. Um, it does tend to go a little bit faster when I do this, and I do enjoy it, so um, I hope you like it as well. Let's go ahead and dig right into this now, Cancer, and see what your general energy is. And then let's, let's look at what the energy is around you and the environment around you. And this reading will go out seven, <clears throat> seven days um, to two weeks, to, to a two week period of time, um, Cancer. Let's go ahead and get started now, looking at your energy, looking at Cancer's energy. And then we'll see what the energy is around you. There you are, King of Cups. All right. All right, let's look at what this energy is around you. What is the environment around Cancer? What is the environment around Cancer? What is this energy? We have the Knight of Wands flipping over. Not coming out though, just flipping over. So let's look at your energy first, Cancer, and then we'll look at the situation that's around you. The Tower, the King of Cups, and the Two of Swords. Well, this is your energy. This is your internal energy. That's kind of how I like to think of it. Um, and this tells me that this group of Cancer people are going through some kind of major upheaval. Now, with all the things going on in the world right now, I think that that is something that is um, fairly understandable for, for a lot of people. Um, it would be... Um, it would be no surprise that the tower shows up. Whether this is something that's going on around you that's affected your life in a major way or whether there's something going on within you, Cancer, um, this talks about a something that's affected you quite deeply and it's causing you to really um, rebuild yourself. There, there could be things that you are realizing about yourself or feelings that you're having that you're not used to or just feeling much different about the world around you you could be trying to decide how this upheaval is actually going to impact your own soul your own self um, it, it's a very it's a very deep energy that i feel here with the tower i'm going to go ahead and go into it just a little bit and see if we get more information it's a deeper energy i almost feel like i'm being told to go deeper uh, five of Cups, it's emotional. Um, here's the Ace of Pentacles also flipped over. So there could have been a new start here for you that you're overcoming. It would have been a new start that you're overcoming. Four of Wands. So for many of you, this was something that you had started. That was all. That was all kind of wrapped up for you. Um, this is the feeling I'm getting. There is something here that was kind of wrapped up for you. It was wrapped up for you. It was, it was almost in a, in a way, um, packaged, packaged in, in really nice wrapping paper and delivered to you. And, and you had this and this was something that you were enjoying. Um, it could have been something that happened quite quickly. Um, it could have been quite fascinating and, um, it could have filled you with excitement. Um, here is what I'm getting. So there was something here that was a part of your journey that with the with the five of cups, it could have come to an end. There could have been something here that um, when we have the four of wands underneath the tower, it tells me that there's some some kind of stability, some kind of foundation, something that you had wrapped around yourself that you were beginning to feel comfortable in, confident about, excited about. You were starting to feel like it was your own. It came crashing down and what it left behind was um, misery, heartbreak, remorse, mourning, a lot of heavy devastation, emotional devastation. And it, and it was something, what I can say, and, and this is how I feel, it was something that had wrapped its arms around you, whether it was a person or a job or a new business that you had started or some kind of new success that you had found, 
Um, it wrapped its arms around you and helped you to feel secure in who you were, secure in your future, um, secure financially, however it made you feel with the Four of Wands. And something that had happened with that that just kind of, kind of came crashing down around you. We do have the King of Cups here. Now, the King of Cups is in the upright. And I think um, you're realizing who you are. You're realizing your capacities. You're, reali you're realizing your strength. Um, I think that you're not diminished as you once were. You're really coming. You're, you're on the comeback. Um, you're pedaling your way out of this. Um, you're pedaling into the, maybe you're, it feels like you're pedaling into the, into the wind, but you're still making a go of it and you're still getting there. Uh, you are here with the two of swords. You, you could be at some kind of a stalemate here with the two of swords, trying to decide one way or the other, trying to gather all the truth together. I'm going to go a little bit deeper here too. See, this is what I mean by when I do this freestyle, I can really just paint this picture as I go along. Page of Cups. You're just trying to find some truth. Knight of Cups, Nine of Cups. I mean, it feels like this was a situation that you're trying to come to terms with and see the truth of. It's like, what was it? Was it something where you're, was it something that was a fantasy that you, um, you thought was more than it was? Was it really an offer of love here with the Knight of Cups? Because it seemed like it had like a stair step into it. It was like an ascension inch into it. Or was it just a wish here with the Knight of Cups? Was it just, was it truly a wish coming true? I think you're trying to figure out how did this happen? How did you get to this place? Because this is all about the truth now. This is all about seeing clearly so that you can move forward. So you're in this investigative energy you're in like a um, Sherlock type of energy or um, a, a detective kind of energy. And you're really able, and it's really interesting right now, Cancer, you're able to really see your yourself in such a, almost like Aquarius would do it. Like something, it's almost like something I would do. And I'm a strongly an Aquarius. You're able to really step out of the emotions now. Look at you in this energy. It's almost like you're looking at this water, looking at this water, looking at what's in this bowl and thinking to yourself, okay, how did this really happen? What was this story and how did it happen? Was it a fantasy? Was it something much less than I thought it was? Was the foundation really kind of crumbly in the beginning? Was it truly love with the Knight of Cups or was it like a, a dream that I was living in? Was it, you know, what, what was it? Two of Cups. There's a partnership here. There was a partnership here. The star. I just feel like what, what's kind of coming forward to me now is I mean it, it's it's like what I'm hearing is like I was better than that. I am better than that. It, there, there's like an energy now of maybe there's something more for me. Maybe there's a destiny ahead. Maybe there's a truth that is for me. Right, because you have the star here with the nine of cups, and and I just said this this is kind of an Aquarius type energy, so that would that would kind of make sense. Um, this partnership, and it's interesting how I, without really thinking, I move this kind of partnership over here by the tower, and I move this destiny and wish coming true over here by the two of swords. <laughs> so it's almost like you're trying to figure out why this happened to you. Why was it a part of your journey? What was the meaning of this friendship or this partnership? And you're trying to make heads or tails of it, make sense of it, uh, because you're really trying to enjoy life at this point. 
You're really trying to live in your fulfillment, whatever brings you joy, right? Whether that's helping people or living a life of discovery or going on the road or living a, a, a life with, with a beautiful love partner that uh, is beautiful to you and is significant to you and, and, and looking for that deep and long lasting kind of love, whatever it is. Um, I, I feel like you're, you're beginning to realize that there is, there is something for you in the future. And was this situation, is this situation what that is, right? Is, is, was this situation meant for you or was it meant for you to learn or was it meant for you to, to go in the, on this journey with? Right. So you're in this deep kind of energy now, Cancer. And um, I, I think at this point, you're kind of able to remove yourself a little bit from the emotions of it and kind of see it as a scientist would see it. I'm going to stay in this energy just a while longer because I think this is something you're thinking through. Because when I'm in this energy, it's almost like a cliffhanger. That's how it feels to me. Like I'm not getting the full story. It, it's a cliffhanger. So maybe there's something that's still happening. Uh, with this energy. I don't really like to leave you in a cliffhanger. So let me see if I can get more information out and we'll just have to get, we'll just have to receive what spirit has to give us. Um, let me ask what happened, what's happening with this partnership with this two of cups, what's happening with this partnership. And I know, I know I'm going out into the environment, but um, I really feel like I, I just want to see if I can get a little bit more for you. Five of cups. There's that five of cups again, sadness, loss, regret, aloneness, two of pentacles, wondering, the world energy flipped over as well, wondering, looking for the evidence of it, making making determinations about it, but in a real life practical kind of way. It's almost like your head came, you, you were up in the clouds or you were up in some kind of dream state. And now you're, now you, you've landed back on the ground again. And when you landed back on the ground again, you saw something completely different on the ground than what you saw when you were up in the clouds. <clears throat> it's completely different now that you're on the ground. And you're trying to decide here was it this or was it that? Was it real or was it not? See how this one pentacle is like very real and this pentacle is, is more illusionary. And there's just one here. So you were like, was this only me? Am I the only one here? Seven of swords, betrayal. So something happened. Something happened that you weren't expecting with this relationship or this partnership. And now you are having to really kind of come up with a whole new set of truths, or you're really trying to establish your, your balance in this, trying to get both feet under you so that you can stand back up again. I mean, you could be a little bit unsteady on your feet here, right? You could be a little unsteady on your feet because there was something here that progressed so beautifully. And now you're just left with the leftovers or with something that you're trying to find answers to. But look at these beautiful energies here, this, the nine of cups and the star energy. It's like you're realizing that there's probably something much more profound out there for you. There's a destiny here. There's a, there's a wish here that at some point, maybe soon, you're going to connect into. Because what you don't want to have happen is to lose yourself, is to diminish yourself, is to lose the string that takes you into your most beautiful life, that electrifies your soul, right? You don't want to lose that type of energy. And you don't want to lose contact with those dreams that really send you into euphoria that send you into a special kind of joy. And so I, I feel like you, you are recovering cancer. You are recovering from this loss, but
but it's taken a lot of deliberation. It's taken intentional progress. Um, and it's really taking, taken you some time to, um, get into this two of swords kind of energy where you're able to, to, to start to see the truth because it takes a certain amount of energy to do this. Um, you really have to give yourself a little bit of time to do this kind of work. It's really tough work and, um, it, it will set you free, but, but you do have to get to a certain point in the healing process to really, um, to really be able to, to, to be, to look at the ungla unglaring truth. Is that the glaring truth? It's like to get to the point where you can crawl over, pull yourself over, you know, and, and, and pull yourself up the wall to the window and open the window and look out and see the real truth. It takes some time. It takes energy to do that. I'm not sure why I was given that image in my mind. I just see like somebody laying in bed with the covers over them, devastated and knowing <clears throat> that, it, <clears throat> see my throat expression. And knowing at some point that they would 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 be able to find the answers for themselves, and then then getting getting that energy, having that rest, taking care of that damaged yin energy, and then having the strength to really crawl out of bed, and and um, look through the looking glass, or look be able to um, look out the window and see the truth, and that takes a, that takes a certain amount of of strength, my friends. So um, I think you're in a recovering energy. Uh, you're, you're getting, you're getting your, your, you're finding your essence again. Um, your, your heart is, is, is beating again. Um, and, and you're starting to fire up. You're starting to fire up again. All right. So let's look now at what's going on around you because there's something here going on around you as well. So let's see what's here. the world makes a lot of sense page of pentacles beautiful seven of wands queen of pentacles the devil energy and seven of pentacles all right and just remember this is just for the next week or two so this is a um this is a short period of time and this is just to help you get through the next couple of weeks my friends and there's a lot of, of, there are a lot of beautiful things happening here. All right, Cancer. So we have the world energy. This is kind of, um, this is the energy of stepping forward into a new kind of experience, stepping forward into a new life, um, relaxing what was, uh, relaxing what was, what had a hold on you before and walking away from it. You can feel even the energy at your back as you walk away from it. So there, there is a, a more expansive feeling now about the world. There could be something starting in for you. There could be something starting up for you. That's often the case. Um, let me go deeper into the world energy. Five of Pentacles. There's that 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 change energy. Let me get deeper here. Nine of Swords. So what you are, have been going through has been significant. There's an ending here. Two of Pentacles. Some of the same energies are coming out. A five energy, a nine energy, and a two energy. Heartbreak. Look at what you're ending. Look what you're ending. Look what you're walking out of. Look what you're healing from. King of Swords flipped over. Didn't come out, but flipped over. Could be an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini here. But but I think you're taking on that kind of an energy in this period of time. The Queen of Cups flipped over. So there you are. This is your yin energy. This is healing the feminine energy. Um, without healing the feminine, it's really hard to take action in our lives. So this is really, we're in the feminine energy. I'm going to take this card. It just flipped over, but I'm going to take it. We're healing the feminine energy at this point with the Queen of Cups. So the world is an, is an ending that we're going through. And here with the Page of Pentacles is the beginning of the next beginning. Now, the, the beginning is going to come in quite softly for you. Um, what you've been through has been pretty devastating for you here. It has really hurt your yin. 
So it's, it's really hurt your belief in yourself. It's, it's damaged the why within you. Why am I doing this? Why am I on this path? Uh, why is this happening to me? It's really kind of taken you down into a place where you're asking those questions again, questions that you thought that you had stability in, questions that you thought you had answered within yourself. You're back now asking those questions again um, because your heart has been broken here. Not only, <clears throat> not only has your heart been broken, <clears throat> Not only has your, there, there are some of you here really, really working on your throat chakras. I mean, th there has been a, a real suppression of your voice, of your expression, right? Of your expression in life. And, and the words willpower keep coming forward. Um, and this is, this is going to take some willpower from you, um, cancer. And I see you really engaged in that now. Willpower. Um, it, it's going to take some real willpower to begin to express yourself and to allow um, those energies then that hurt and that pain that's within you to start coming back out of your throat. So there is some, many of you could have throat chakras that are damaged um, and you could be needing to um, take care of it. Sometimes when our throats have been damaged, um, it, it, when our voice has been suppressed, uh, sometimes even um, doing things physically with the throat chakra, like um, drinking something cold and icy can feel good or even hot chocolate can feel good. But for me, usually when my throat chakra has been damaged, I like to go get like a breakfast smoothie. I can make one or go buy one or, or something that feels nice and cool that slides down my throat. Um, that uh, oddly enough, it does help me. And so it, it might somehow help you. But the throat chakra is healed when we begin to express, when we begin to voice it out loud, when we begin to express it. So there could be something here um, for you to write down on a piece of paper, for you to tell someone, for you to yell out in somewhere where you're isolated, where no one can hear you. And that's not too hard these days with all this social isolation going on, where you can really um, bring the energy up out from within you, maybe within the heart chakra and probably within the solar plexus, um, the, the, um, rece the receptor of surprises, of shock, of pain, um, that you can express this energy from out from within you through the throat chakra. And that will help to, to clear the throat chakra so that it can heal again. We do have with this world energy, um, something coming to an end. There is an end here. And I think that you're probably having to end it. Um, as we know, with every ending, there is a new beginning. So it is a, it, it is a difficult place where you're at cancer, but it's also, um, a, a very, um, it, there's also a new beginning because that is how it works. No doubt about it. When you end something like this, there is always a new beginning. There has to be a new beginning. And so we're going to talk about the new beginning here soon. Um, but for right now, the spirit is still bringing forward. Um, you could even have fear of fear of finances. You could have fear of consequences with money. Um, you could be very anxious and worried about something here with the Nine of Swords. You're not maybe sleeping very well. Um, and then you have the Two of Pentacles trying to figure out how you're going to manage, how you're going to manage this change. How are you going to manage this, this chaos in your life? So there's something going on in your outer world that is just as difficult as what's going on within you. So you're probably dealing with all of these kinds of energies around you. People could be sad around you. People could be worried about money around you. Um, people could be frantically trying to figure out, okay, how do I do, should, do I, do I pay? Because you have the five of pentacles with the nine of swords with the two of pentacles. This could be about budgeting. Do I pay this or do I pay that? Do I pay this today and next week I pay that? I mean, when you have these kind of energies together with the pentacles, it tells me there could be some real world reality kind of issues that you're working through. Whether this is a real situation with money or with, um, with real, um, problems and challenges that come with a partnership that is, that is folding under or a relationship that's going bad or, um, a work situation that, that you thought was, it for you is now crumbling. It has left you with a broken heart. It really truly has. It has left you with a broken heart. And it, it is interesting that you're here with as a queen of cups. So I think this has really damaged the feminine. 
whether you are a male or a female, this has really took a, taken a toll on the feminine energy, which is always looks for safety and security, which, which needs rest, which the, the yin energy, when, when it's been damaged, it's like, you just want to crawl, um, into, into your house. You want to close all your curtains. You just want to have a soft light on. You want to cuddle up under a blanket and sip tea. You don't really have any energy to do anything. You don't even want to eat sometimes. You just want to be in silence. Noises can bother you, right? Surprises can really get to you. You might just feel cold, right? When the yin has gone through a damage like this, it's going to need to be some real healing that takes place. Here you are as the Queen of Cups. Now, we also have this beautiful energy of the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups came in upright. I do feel like I want to go into the Three of Cups just a little bit more. Knight of Cups. The Knight of the Queen of Swords flipped over. It didn't fall out on the table though. Ten of Cups. I mean, I think you're getting yourself back again. You're getting yourself back again. This three of cups for me, when I get into the energy of this card in particular, it always has the energy of friendship. It has the energy of family, of sisterhood, of friendship. And I think that there's probably some element of that for you here. It could be mother and daughters. It could be sisters. It could be a small group of friends. It could be brothers. It doesn't have to be females. But it's an energy of getting together, knowing who your tribe is, knowing who your people are, knowing who your friends are, and the comfort and the kindness that can come from that. Maybe it's your animals, right, that do that for you. This energy of Three of Cups is a togetherness of people. It's a kindness and compassion and love that we as a family or we as a friendship can bring healing and consolation and revival to the spirit, right? It's a oneness of, of who we are. And there is an energy now connected in with this broken heart here and the Queen of Cups here that is talks about reunion. It talks about the togetherness of people and the healing and, and the awe that it can bring as we find structure and we find family and we find friendship again to be a tangible and healing element in our life. Um, when I clarified the three of cups, the energy that came forward um, with the three of cups, it's this energy of love and compassion, the 10 of cups and the empress. So it's quite beautiful. So this is, this is reminding you this, this friendship card, the three of cups is reminding you the power of three, the power of divinity the power of the divine, the power of friendship and love and um, the, the, the great and all powerful mother, right? The, the, the healed maternal. Um, and we have the Knight of Cups here, which talks about compassion and kindness, um, a healing energy, an energy of love. Um, it doesn't always have to mean, and sometimes it rarely means romantic love. And it, it usually, it can mean sexual love, but it is the energy of love. It can be the energy of sisters, the energy of mother and daughter. It can be the energy of family, right? It's, it has compassion and kindness and understanding and tolerance and acceptance within it. The Knight of Cups does. And then we have this Ten of Cups energy, which is happiness, togetherness bliss, understanding what happiness is, understanding where you can find it, where you can touch on it, how you can find it within the self. And then you have this beautiful Empress energy, the great mother, the maternal energy, the healed and empowered feminine energy, the feminine energy that will look at another feminine and say, come my friend, let's walk together. We are fellow feminine energies. So this is a power of the feminine. Whether you are a male or a female, this is power of the feminine and each of us have it in within us. So there's an energy of inclusiveness. There's an energy of friendship. There's an energy of kindness here um, towards one another. And I think, Cancer, you are feeling that again. You're getting connected in with that energy of love after this destruction. 
So, so whatever has happened, you, you have this reconnection now that's going on, um, in, in your exterior world. Could be a mother here, a sister, an auntie. Beautiful. So it's, it's like you're, you're making your way out of this harshness and you're re-engaging now with some kind of, um, deeply rooted um, connection in with joy and love and happiness and healing. All right, now I'm going to ask, um, we, we do have more energies here. It's just that this world one is the biggest energy of all. It's the biggest energy. Um, I know that you're coming into a new beginning here because we could already feel it with the cards as we dug deeper. Um, couldn't you feel the new beginning starting to happen? So I'm going to ask now for a few energies for the new beginning that you're coming into. The new beginning that you're coming into, Queen of Swords. There she is. So now she's a part of the new beginning. And there's a decision here to be made. Here's the Emperor popping out. So that's quite interesting that the Emperor sticks out like that. You might have to make a decision about someone. Ace of Swords decision so you have the queen of swords here so it looks like you're gaining the spirit you're gaining the spirit the spirit of the feisty the spirit of the feisty the feisty one is here as you move in so there's a different energy change right there's an energy change here and all of a sudden you really realize what needs to be said the queen of swords she can express like no one else <laughs> And watch out, because when she's ready to talk, you better be ready to listen, because she has something to say, and she's going to make damn well sure that you hear it, the Queen of Swords, because she has a heart that is big and powerful and golden, but she has an edge that has been hurt. So um, she can be very strong with the way she says things. I am like that. I'm an Aquarius, so I'm like this sometimes. When, I have, when I'm feeling very passionate about something, You once in a while, it'll come out in my readings, too, when I when I work. So you're taking on this energy of, of, of expressing, expression. Uh, you're, you are not letting anyone um, stop you from there. This is about, for a lot of you, this is about expression. And I think that there has been um, a withholding of, of how you feel or a tamping down of how you feel, or there has been a containment of, of your words and as the Queen of Swords comes forward, you're all of a sudden, it's almost like somebody has taken a cork and popped it out of your throat. And all the words and all the things that you were meant to say long ago have are, are coming out. Be careful when you're in the Queen of Swords, because sometimes you can be a little bit harsh. Um, it, it comes out with a lot of explosive. The energy is just within you, and it's, it, it sometimes can explode out. Um, so be careful that you can, that if you need to, if you can moderate it just a little bit, because you, you know, you don't want to burn bridges either. When you're, the Queen of Swords can sometimes burn bridges, just like the Queen of Wands. I mean, sometimes, you know, the words fly and then afterwards you're like, ah, oh, shit, I didn't have to say all that. You know, it's not, why did I go, why? So when you're in the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords always has to sort of tamper down just a little bit and um, monitor the way she says and monitor the strength of her voice, because sometimes it's in her tone. Not always in her words, but in how she says it, the tone, the tone, right? That kind of an energy. You can put a lot of energy into tone uh, and, and it can really intimidate people. So so I think that is a, a part of the Queen of Swords is uh, it's almost like the strength energy um, is here where, where you really learn how to kind of monitor that energy, but you're really able to say what you need to say. Um, it looks like there's sort of some sort of strategy change here now. It's like you have a couple doors opening for you in the world energy. And with the Ace of Swords, I think you are making a decision. You are seeing the situation clearly. So you went from the Two of Swords, where you're trying to see the truth and you're gathering information and you're, and you're about ready to make a, uh, make a decision. And it looks like the, this decision comes forward for you. You're able to make it. You're able to see the truth here. And there's some sort of decision you're making now in life. This is a life decision. This is, do I go down this path or do I go down this path? And it, it's for you to decide. I think with the Queen of Swords here um, and and the Queen of Cups, we saw the Queen of Cups earlier and we see you in the King of Cups energy as well. Um, I, I think you're going to be able to make this decision no problem. No problem because you have this clarity, right? You have the clarity. Now, if it was, 
if it was the Ace of, of Wands, I would be a little worried because Ace of Wands would just send you down some kind of a path. You would just go down one of these paths without thinking too much. That's what the Ace of Wands does. It's excitement. It's passion. It's like, okay, let's go. With the Ace of Swords, there's a lot of clarity here and, and a calmness and a decision making that will send you down the path that's most beneficial for you in the long run. So I really like that. So it, it does look like there is a beginning here for you. Once you kind of make your way out of this, um, devast, this heart energy that you have, this, this, this damaged yin energy. Um, that you have once you kind of work to to heal that energy to heal that the why and to, and to rest and to um, get together with the three of cups energy and, and rejuvenate yourself I think you're going to be able to really gain gain your power back make a very good decision for yourself as you move forward all right, we're moving on to the Page of Pentacles now. It does look like as you start this new beginning um, that there is some indications of success here. So that's a, that's a really um, helpful energy for you. And I do think it gives you um, the ability to continue on this journey of self-advocacy with the Seven of Wands. I think this is a strengthening energy. You're strengthening your core. And when you strengthen your core energy, you're able to much more easily create boundaries. And sometimes boundaries are created just by the strength of who we are, just by the strengthening of our person, right? It, it, it could, with the Queen of Swords that we see here, the Queen of Cups that we see here, I, I do think that um, you're really able now to say the things that you need to say to create the boundaries around yourself so that you have a little bit more protection um, for yourself. And I think that you build this protection too. I, there, there is a way that you can create a strong aura, and I've worked on that a long time. Um, personally, for me, I'm much more auditory. I'm much more feeling than I am seeing. And, and personally, um, for me, it's kind of hard sometimes to imagine a white light around me. In fact, it's really hard for me to do that. Um, I don't know if you guys struggle with imagining a white light around me, but around you, but I really do struggle with it. It's hard for me to imagine it. And I know that, um, I need to be able to hold it there much longer than I, than I have. I've worked with some different, um, some different boundaries, for example, thinking of the white light as a light bulb around me. That's it's easier for me to imagine. And sometimes I imagine it as a canoe. Um, as I would, let's say if I go into a grocery store, I'll imagine that white light being a canoe and having it go out in front of me at, in a sharp point. And that sometimes can, can um, move, it can move into the energies and almost as a way create a clearance so that the, that the other energies go out around me and they don't hit me, right? So I've really worked with that kind of thing. And as I've gotten stronger in my journey and feel more empowered inside, not just not just with words, but inside I, I'm healing and I'm strengthening and I'm going through um, different different experiences that have given me a lot of strength. I realize that it's the knowing, the internal knowing of strength, the internal knowing of the white light that's much more important than imagining it. Because imagining it, you're using the mind to imagine it, right? When you know it, you use all of yourself. And so you're going to be going through this, this energy of empowerment and, and yes, you might start with this, imagining yourself in a white light that's, that's protective. Um, but then as you gain strength and you gain yourself back again and you, um, strengthen the core of who you are, um, this knowingness will take the place of the imagining of the white light and it will just become what you are, right? It'll become a part of you. And it's something that just happens organically. It happens as you strengthen and grow. So I think you're, you're on a journey like that, my friends. You do have the Queen of Pentacles here next to the Devil, next to the Seven of Pentacles. So you are working on stability now, Cancer. This group of people are definitely working on stability. You're working on finances. You're working on to overcome, um, the, 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 the devil energy is very much part of the Queen of Pentacles and it could be part of the Seven of Pentacles. Now, I don't feel like this devil energy is, is a very intense energy. It's just a, an awareness now by this group of people that too much focus in reality, too much focus about money, too much work, too much, um, too much focus about it can create a, can create an imbalance. I think this, this group of you is very aware of that. Um, but I, I feel that that's an awareness. Um, but there is some kind of detailed perspective here that you're really sinking into. You're looking at the numbers. You're looking at the details. You're making business decisions. You could be working really hard on something. You could be, um, working hard to pull yourself out of a trench, a financial trench or emotional trench. And you're using the details of life 
like to do that. You're working hard. The Queen of Pentacles is one of the hardest workers in tarot. She's a backbone of, of any home. She's a backbone of a, of a company. She's a backbone of any kind of government system, right? She looks at the numbers. She consistently moves forward. She tracks things, right? She, she is also very steady. She's compassionate and she's kind, but she's really firm with what she believes in. She's firm with her deadlines. Um, she's a very strong personality when it comes to making sure things happen. She's responsible. She's reliable. It takes a lot of strength to be in the Queen of Pentacles, especially for a water energy. And so this could be sending you down into a little bit of awareness of the of the imbalance and occur when you're in this hardworking energy, especially when it's in the seven of pentacles, this working energy, a focus now on what you're doing to create stability in your life, what you're doing to create improvement in your life, because really there's a goal here of comfort in life. Something has reminded you, something has brought to your awareness of your right as a human to have some basic comforts in your life because something has been taken away from you and it's reminded you of something that you really need, which is stability and security and comfort and the basic necessities, right? And you're really focused on that. You're investing in that. You could be training. You could be putting money into something. You could be working just really hard, knowing that it's not going to happen today or tomorrow, but it might really come to fruition in a few months from now or whenever your deadline is for the seven of pentacles, seven of pentacles, it is something that you're working on um, that you have faith in, but it hasn't come to fruition yet. And there could be a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry, a lot of hard work that's going into this now. So I want to go into the devil energy just a little bit because I think it's going to be on your mind as you go in the next couple of weeks. I think it's going to be on your mind. Four of Wands. Yeah, you're really wanting that structure. You're really kind of obsessed with it. Four of Wands could be a relationship that you're trying to build or you're worried about. It could be finances that you're trying to build. It could be a new company that you're working on. It's it, There is an urgency here and there is almost an obsession now of creating this stability for yourself um, where you're, you're looking for the, the money that will bring safety to you or the relationship that will bring safety to you. Six of Cups popped out as well. Two of Pentacles. It's management of this. Management of your work. Management of your emotions. Managing the balance in your life so that you can continue to heal. You continue to rest. So it looks like you're in um, an action orientation kind of energy um, to, to really bring this into a betterment, into, into a better situation for yourself. And it's going to be important now for you to remember that there is something here that is being healed. Healing doesn't just take a week or two. It can take a little bit of time. And so remember, as you're going through this work and you're, and you're restructuring your life and you're looking at the details and you're just plugging through, you're pushing through, remember to take some time to rest, to eat foods that nourish you, to, to spend time with your family or to the, with those that you love. Um, remember to revitalize and continue to revitalize and heal the yin energy so that you can continue to support the actions that you're taking in, in the most healthy way. Um, now, Cancer, as um, I move into the extended reading, I am going to take this out into the future. I'm going to take this out into the beginning of, of June. So we'll take this out a couple months and we'll see how this moves forward. And I think we're going to find some really interesting energies here. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is going, there's something going to happen with the Seven of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, she's a very effective in what she does. She, she usually accomplishes things. And so there's going to be some accomplishments here, um, I feel, as we move into the next couple of months. So that's what I'm going to do in the extended. I'm going to take this situation out. We're going to dig deeper into this. We're going to see who's here. Um, I might even look at the people who are around you and kind of dig into those people to see what they have, what they have to say. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this out a couple of months. I'm going to take it out into the to early June. And then I'm going to look at the people who are around you and kind of dig into their energy and see what their perspective is of this situation and, and maybe how they how they feel about it. All right, friends, I hope this was helpful for you. 
um, good, good work, my friends. This is a group of cancer people who are really um, pulling themselves through into a, a, a beautiful new experience. And it takes a lot of work and it's, it's, it's very courageous. And I just commend you for your hard work and your dedication to this. Um, thank you very much, Cancer. It's wonderful to be in your energy and I wish you all the best as you move forward. Thank you.